Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. This vlog has been sponsored by Indoor Outdoor. Okay, so Indoor Outdoor, thank you so much, Sir John. You can check out their official Facebook page. So Indoor Outdoor, they have good quality shirts, sportswear, casual wear with sports designs. You can see it has a very good quality and vibrant designs. Indoor Outdoor Apparel, check out their Facebook page. Also, I would like to thank Cafe Nogi. So good quality drip coffee. You can check their Facebook as well, Cafe Nogi. We Care. So We Care is an NGO. They're starting in Cavite and you can also check out their Facebook page. We Care. Shoes Kupo Smiley. Thank you so much for restoring my shoes, my kicks. So they are the ones responsible for providing good looks on my kicks. Okay, thank you so much Shoes Kupo Smiley. Check out their Facebook. I'm going to write it down below on the description. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. This time we are going to have another tutorial. So how we are going to have a studio quality voice just using our PC or laptop. First we are going to download the software. The name of the software is Audacity. You can google it. Click on download. You are going to choose if you are using Windows, Mac or Linux. Actually I've already downloaded the software and installed it on my PC. So this is how it's going to look like. The first thing that we are going to do is to change the number of hertz in here. Change it to something like 48,000. Afterwards, you are going to check on the connected audio device. Let's say the mic. I'm using just an ordinary USB microphone. Check if it is on stereo. And that's it. Let's try to record our voice. Or record our voice hello everyone my name is Keith this is just a recording welcome to my website or welcome to my vlog hello everyone my name is Keith this is just a recording welcome to my website or welcome to my vlog so I'm not satisfied with what has happened so I'm just going to remove it and record again hi everyone my name is Keith this is a test recording we are going to check if my voice is gonna be improvised after we are going to do some settings hi everyone my name is Keith this is a test recording we are going to check if my voice is gonna be improvised after we are going to do some settings. How does noise reduction work? The first thing that we are going to deal with is to find a noise profile. So this will be the noise profile, this area right here. So I'm just going to highlight the first part. It's then click on effect, click on noise reduction. All you need to do is just if you don't know the settings in here, just click on Get Noise Profile. And double click on everything. Then afterwards, let's zoom out a little bit or yeah, there you go. Then click on Noise Reduction. Then click OK. That's it. If we're going to play this one, this is how it's going to sound. Hi everyone, my name is Keith. This is a test recording. We are going to check if my voice is gonna be improvised after we are going to do some settings. Now up next is we are going to click on compressor under effect. You don't need to read on the settings, just look at it, then click OK. So as you can see, the highs and lows are being emphasized or enhanced. Hi everyone, my name is Keith. This is a test recording. We are going to check if my voice is gonna be improvised after we are going to do some settings. Now as you can see, um... There is an improvement. The thing that we're going to do is just to click on effect, 
then go to bass and treble. We are just going to improve the bass quality and treble quality. I'm using 5.0 for the bass and 5.0 for the treble. So the wave, the sound wave has changed already. So I'm going to highlight this area since this area has reached the peak already. So I need to click on effect again, then click on compressor to enhance. Same thing with the other area, this part. Click on effect, then go to compressor, click on OK. There you go. Now let's test. Hi everyone, my name is Keith. This is a test recording. We are going to check if my voice is gonna be improvised after we are going to do some settings. So as you can see, it's quite better already compared to the previous one. So what we're going to do is just to export it as MP3 or WAV. So for me, I prefer using WAV to preserve the quality, some sort of an uncompressed or yeah, lossless format, something like that. Now let's try to compare both of the audio. Hi everyone, my name is Keith. This is a test recording. We are going to check if my voice is gonna be improvised after we are going to do some settings. Hi everyone, my name is Keith. This is a test recording. We are going to check if my voice it's gonna be improvised after we are going to do some settings. Okay, so that's it. As far as I've noticed, there is a significant change on the audio quality. So that is how you're going to do or create a studio quality voice using an ordinary PC or laptop. Bye for now.